Hey, Layla, do you ever wonder why so many things are named after George Washington? Nope. I mean, there's Washington, D.C., Washington State. Almost every town has a Washington street. Plus, he's on the dollar bill and the quarter. I don't think it's rocket science, Leo. He was our first president. And isn't he called the father of our country? I don't think it's that hard. He's like our national hero. Yeah, I know he was a president and a general. And I know those jobs are important, but they're not that cool. Not a lot of action, you know? I think we need a new national hero. Really? Like who? Well, someone strong and tough, who wins all the time or saves the day. Someone we can be proud of, like a Hall of Fame quarterback or an action movie star. I don't see the problem with George Washington. He was a great leader. Yeah, maybe for olden days. But I want someone who does more than just ordering people around or giving speeches. George Washington just looks like an old guy in a wig. We deserve a real hero to be our leader. I wonder what George Washington would say about that. Well, you know, we could... Hey, are you just trying to get me to use the history app so we can go meet George Washington? Kinda, but I really do want to know what's the big deal with him. Fine, all right. Is that him? I think so. It is a fine fox chase, my boys. We've halted the British advance. Now let us finish the job. Excuse us, sir. Are you George Washington? Yes, indeed. General George Washington of the Continental Army. Who are you? And are you loyal to the crown? Or do you support our rebellion? Oh, uh, we're with you, General. Leo and Layla, sir. My brother and I have come from the future to learn about you and about leadership. Well, as you can see, I'm a bit occupied right now. Not much time to teach. Nine days ago, at the Battle of Trenton, we claimed one of our first victories. Today at Princeton, the Brits have fought back ferociously. So I'm personally leading our charge. Wait, are you leading like giving instructions? Or leading like being out in front on your horse? Out front, young man. Isn't that risky? You could be hurt or even killed. Yeah, I thought generals stayed in the back and gave orders. Most do. But so far, in our fight for independence, we've had a tough time with the British. They have the most powerful military in the world. And my troops are volunteers, with little or no fighting experience. If we fail to achieve a victory today, I fear the entire war will be lost. You're not worried about the danger of being in front of enemy fire or of getting captured? It is a dangerous risk, but one I must take. For my men, and for the opportunity of building a free nation. Now is our chance. We finally have some momentum. And if I can serve as an example of bravery for my men, it will give them strength, and we just might be victorious. Wow. You starting to see why he's such a big deal? Yep. Children, our chances at a free nation truly hang in the balance. And I really must return to the field. To the front of the line. Okay, sir. Our time machine can take us to any time. I want to see how you got this brave. What year should we go to? Start with the 9th of July, 1755! You with me and want to keep learning about George Washington and what makes a good leader? Oh yeah, this is awesome. I had no idea George Washington was so cool. What a day. Those were some close calls. <sighs> wow, he's so young. Can you believe that's the same guy on the dollar bill? Let's go talk to him. Hello, um, General Washington? General? I'm merely a volunteer. But in this war against the French and Indians, I am the top aide for General Braddock and greatly concerned for him. But who are you two? And do be on your guard, for we are in very dangerous country. We're Leo and Layla, American time-traveling siblings. We're learning about leadership and being heroic. And I know it sounds crazy, but we just talked to an older version of you, and that you told us to come talk to this you. Truly, this is not a complete surprise. You said you're Americans, and we are, after all, exceptional people, capable of extraordinary things. You got that right. 
So why are you worried about the general you work for? He was shot today. Our enemies ambushed us as we marched through the forest. We were nearing the Monongahela River, and they came at us from all directions. Are those bullet holes in your hat and coat? Yes. Today was a most remarkable day. Once General Braddock was shot, even though I'm just an aide, he ordered me to try to organize the troops and lead them to safety. Our enemies had outmaneuvered us so badly that our men were scrambling every which way. For hours I raced through the forest and along the riverbanks, giving directions and encouragement. Were you scared? I had no time to be. Bullets whizzed by from all directions and, as you saw, four went through my clothes. Also, two different horses were shot out from underneath me. We lost many good men today. But fortunately, I was still able to round up hundreds of men and lead them to safety. You saved that many soldiers? Well, I merely did my duty, and only by the grace of God was I able to survive to do it. Have you always been this brave? My childhood and adolescence were far from easy. I think my early hardships probably prepared me for today's challenges. What do you mean, hardships? Well, when I was not much older than you, Leo, I lost my father. Then, only a few years later, my older half-brother also died, and he was like a second father to me. That sounds very hard. It was difficult. Then, when I was not much older than Layla, I no longer had the privilege of being able to attend school, so I left home and went to work as a surveyor. What's that? A surveyor uses mathematical tools and knowledge of geometry to look at the land and make maps. I began my career at 16, and by 17 years of age, I was roaming the frontiers, studying the wilderness and making maps. It was a struggle to be away from my home and family for months at a time. It sounds like you had to grow up fast. Many people do these days. But without my experiences dealing with and overcoming difficult situations, I might not have been able to meet the challenges I face today. Uh, did you guys hear that? Be brave, Leo. There is a difference between being brave and being reckless. And though I appreciate our discussion, we are in a most dangerous war zone. And neither of you are of age to fight or have any training. Okay, that's true. You are both courteous, curious, and I find you to be very brave. But do be off soon. And I will take your leave as well. I must collect supplies and medication for our surviving men. Thank you for your time. See you in 21 years at the Battle of Princeton. Godspeed, Leo and Layla. Wow, what a hero. He saved all those men, and he really knows how to inspire people and give them confidence. I think that's another reason he's such a good leader. I think you're right. You ready to go home? No, not yet. I think we should visit him when he's older. You know, like on the dollar. I like that idea. Let's see. President Washington. Master Leo, Lady Layla, I always wondered if you'd come and visit me again. Hi, Mr. Washington. It's nice to see you, too. It's President Washington now, right? It is. At least for a little while longer. Some of my advisors want me to stay on and remain president for a third term, but I'm actually working on my farewell address right now. Like a going away speech? Indeed. Saying goodbye and giving some advice. My 45 years of public service have given me some wisdom. I'd like to pass that along to future Americans like yourselves. If everyone wants you to stay president, why would you want to quit? Isn't it fun having so much power? Well, there certainly are many advantages to being president. But at the end of this second term, I will have spent eight years in this office. And I believe that is enough. Sorry, President Washington, but that's kind of weird. I read a lot about history, and leaders are always fighting to keep power. The people want you to stay, and you don't have to fight to keep control, but you're stepping down anyway? Leo, it's not weird. It sounds honorable and nice to me, Mr. President. Thank you, Layla. That is very honorable and nice of you to say. But do not be harsh to your brother. Leo is correct that most leaders throughout history have sought mightily to hold on to power as long as possible but I refuse to follow their examples. Why is that, sir? We Americans fought so hard for our freedom that I don't want to be perceived as a king. No one American should have too much authority. 
Yeah, it would be pretty hypocritical to fight against the rule of a British king and then just go and make a new king for ourselves. I agree. There were quite a few people who believed I should be made king after we won our war for independence. But I made it clear that I did not share their desires. Okay, I think I kind of understand. You see, Leo, throughout my life, at all the different moments where you and your sister have visited me, even though I have indeed held considerable influence over others, power has never been my goal. I merely desire to use my strengths for the benefit of others. And that's also why you're writing this farewell address? Yes. It is time for me to step aside and let others lead. But I have been blessed to have had a lifetime of experience in leadership positions. So I want to help those who follow me, even when I'm no longer around. What kind of advice are you giving? First and foremost, that to protect freedom and prosperity, we as a nation must stay together. We're called the United States for a reason. And our citizens need to always remember that being an American is special and should be a source of pride and patriotism. I think people in our time need to take your advice. It is normal and natural to have differences of opinions. But Americans need to place their differences aside when it comes to what is best for the country. Are there any other big points we should take with us? I am warning against having political parties fight so bitterly with one another. And I'm recommending that, even though we rightfully separate church and government, Having a religious and moral population is important for a healthy republic. Wow, Leo's right. I think Americans in our time have forgotten your advice. We'll definitely tell our family and friends to look up your farewell address. Thank you, Layla. You and your brother make me very proud to have had a hand in building this great nation of ours. No, thank you, Mr. President. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be American. Without your leadership, there wouldn't even be a United States of America. Thanks for all your time, Mr. General and President Washington. You've taught me a lot. Come visit me anytime, kids. Bye. So, still think we need a new national hero? Not at all. George Washington was the man. You know why he's such a big deal now, right? Oh yeah, he was a really great leader and definitely a hero. Not only was George Washington strong, courageous, and in the middle of all the action, he was also really nice, good at helping others be brave, and gave really good advice. Not very many Americans are going to have lives as exciting as George Washington's, but he taught us that if our goal is to help others, then we're American heroes too. If you'd like to time travel with Leo and Layla again, please visit PragerU.com kids and watch more of their adventures. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.